But specifically, let's take a look at um, sort of the types of stresses or the types of stress that are induced inside materials. They most definitely have their own uh, terms of vocabulary. Um, the, and the number order is not important, just happens to be how they're normally presented. So I know you guys can read. Here we go. Our first um, type of stress is a pool. And it's a pool along the major axis. The major axis just happens to be the longest axis if this part happens to have a length versus a width. So if we pull it, we apply a force to both ends and pull away in opposite directions um, from this material along its longest axis, uh, we're going to call that tension. So we talked about stress before. And oh, by the way, people talk about having a, tress, a stress headache. Um, maybe you've al already, already heard of people having a, a tension headache. And the way we use that inside the tension headache, where we talk about people being under tension, is usually the, the 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 story is that you feel like you're being pulled in in multiple dimensions or directions at the same time, um, and that's where this tension comes up comes in. Or maybe playwrights use that when they're doing a critical analysis of a play, and they say, "Ooh, the the tension was really awesome. Should the should the character um, join the military, or should the character run away with the circus? You know, there was a they were being pulled in different directions, and the tension was delightful. Um, that's how we use that. Um, as an example, we happen to have a very very small little piece of twine here. This person is demonstrating tension. This is most definitely the major axis of this piece of twine. It has a minor axis. It's how thick this thing is in the middle. But its major axis is definitely along its ends, and it's being pulled apart. So this is a tension test. And of course, we ask the question, how much tension can this piece of string with hand, with, with, withhold or um, uh, deal with until it snaps? Same thing with our energy capacity. If we take the same area, but this time we push, all we do is flip the forces, as you see here. Um, we're definitely along the major axis, but now we're pushing. We're going to call that a compression test. So we have tension tests, which are pools, and we have compression tests, uh, which are pushes. And again, going back to the athletes, um, people usually have a, a compression cast or compression dressing. It simply means that it's going to hold things tightly together. In this case, I, over, I have a vise over here. And if you've ever used a mechanical vise, it's used. Uh, you unscrew this side over here. This jaw opens up. You stick whatever you want to hold inside between these plates, and then you screw it back down, and you squeeze whatever's in there. Um, if you've used a vice before, it's just the, the grip or hold the item that you're working on. Um, but that's a that's this is not a compression test. It just happens to be the act of compression that sort of squeezes things. And we'll look in how we how we test that pretty pretty quickly.